Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, so if you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the readings. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back. Hi everybody in the chat. So we're going to do your weekend reading, okay? And just real quick, if you need a personal reading or anything at all, everything's in the description box. Take your time to peruse all the links down there. Um, all right, let's get into this. So I'm going to, for this weekend, this is going to be um, October, gosh, time is flying, oh my goodness, 14th through the 16th. And then on the, nope, sorry, yes, October 14th through the 16th. So, um, is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wait, am I losing my mind? No, that's correct. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm using the Constellation Tarot. I've never used this deck before, not in my live readings anyway, or in my here on my channel. It's by Irina Semenova, and you can find her on Etsy if you like this deck. It's very pretty, very pretty, and it also has a guidebook. So um, she sent this to me as a gift last year I think it was and I have yet to I think I might have used it once I did a I did a, um, an unboxing but anyway let's get into your reading so I'm going to start to see what the overall energy I want to take a look at your overall energy for the weekend here Virgo to see what you need to know and then I'm going to get into um, more predictive stuff and see what else could be popping up for you and somehow maybe it'll all tie in for the weekend so love if love shows up that's going to be oh that was a sign if love shows up that's going to be something else okay let's take a look all right overall messages and energy for the weekend for all the virgos virgo sun moon rising or venus okay so you're starting with the Eight of Swords, okay. Um, so there's definitely, you know, it's not the greatest way to start, but I feel like this needs to be brought to your attention. There may be a feeling of restriction over the weekend or you're stuck. You can't do something maybe that you want to do over this weekend. Um, it could be a mental block or mental blocks that you're having. It could be... A, for some, it's a feeling of like, no, I'll never be able to do that, okay? So there's kind of like self-limiting behavior, but, it, you know, everything starts with a thought. Thoughts first, actions follow. Um, so what you have, if you have doubts or fears or like mental restrictions or something, you know, what you think is where you go. So you may have that energy popping up over this weekend um a f or feeling or thinking to yourself i should say more along because these are swords that y you're feeling imprisoned or stuck in some negative thinking or things like that okay so be wary of that over the weekend okay and you also but that's good you have the ten of cups so you have a lot of love and support around you this weekend so if you have any fears or something's going on over the weekend where you just are kind of like don't know if you can do this you're, you're having doubts of whatever it might be that ten of cups energy is like okay that's fine you can have those doubts but you've got a soul tribe or people who are in your life or it could be a group somehow that you connect with, people, others that you connect with that they totally 100% have your back, a person, a place, or a thing, okay? So try to remember. I feel like the message is whatever you're facing over this weekend, call on your, call back up. Call on your support group, other people surrounding you in your life, okay? Let's see what else. Okay. Yeah. Eight of wands. Some of you, as far as love goes, there might be this feeling of, you know, you have two eights. Okay. 
uh, they just said somebody's birthday's in August. Um, you might have a sense of like, you can't cross some kind of threshold to get to, um, to have that 10 of cups energy as far as love goes, like a full on happily ever after kind of thing. I do see that shifting. The eight of swords is like a very stuck energy. The eight of wands is movement. Okay. I feel like, so if this is a situation where you need to call on backup or other people, these other people, okay, who are around you are going to give you the wings, going to be the wind beneath your wings. They're, these people, oh, I just dropped my mic. These people will be what I like to say, um, those are going to give you lift off. They're going to help you take flight. Now, as far as like romance and love goes, I do see love is just on the other side of your negative thinking. Okay. That 10 of cups energy is there and you may feel like it's never going to happen for you. But if you're self-sabotaging with the eight of swords or imposing yourself or restricting yourself from having that if you come out of that i see things really start moving so this feels like an overall message of opening yourself up right and not listening to the that naysayer in your head that tells you that's not good, you know it'll never happen i feel like yeah it will but i i, I just get a sense like if if you're not putting yourself out there in some way. Now it could be fears and things like that, but understand that once you cross over that threshold, come out of your comfort zone, everything starts moving super fast and super quick. This is the Cupid's arrows. Okay. You, um, I don't feel like there isn't, I don't feel like there's people outside or external to you who are not interested. I, I don't know if you're in hermit mode or you're hiding yourself. Trust me, Virgo, get yourself out there and things will start moving. Okay. I, I see that over the weekend change. There's uh, some, you're going to get some generating interest. They're saying generating interest. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm just seeing like a, there's a blockage and once you break through, then, you know, the water starts flowing, that kind of thing. What else do you need to know? Okay. Two of wands. Wow. So you have a decision. Um, I feel like you're going to have to make, but you can't make it until you get an answer to something over this weekend. Right. So, um, I feel like uh, I feel like you're still going to be waiting over the weekend to hear something back. I'm not sure what that could be. It could have something to do with a partnership um, or travel plans or um, you're at a crossroad. You can't move forward yet in this particular area of your life this weekend until you get the green light is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay, so you're right now you're at a stoplight. That's fine. Everything's in position. Everything's, you know, it's just a matter of someone has to like the light has to turn green. And then you'll be able to make the decision of what you want to do. That could have a lot to do with feeling restricted where you feel restricted over the weekend. Um, but with the eight of wands, I do feel like things, you know, it's going to come in. Things are going to start moving forward for you. And you have Origa, Origa, Origa. So this is the chariot. This is movement. Okay. Um, action and change. Vroom, vroom. You're on your way. So there's something happening over this weekend where either you're coming into this weekend where you feel like you can't, you won't, you shouldn't, you couldn't. But the support and the backup, I feel like you're going to get the green light over this weekend. Things are going to start going, um, but it, they're telling me it's all to do with your, your belief. Um, if you think you won't, you won't. If you think you can't, you can't. 
(laughs) So if you think you will, then you will. If you think you can, you can. It's all in your attitude, your perception over this weekend, okay? If this is something to do with a car, buying a new car, um, taking a trip, traveling, moving forward with a relationship, um, that kind of thing, I I feel like every, like the the dam's going to break and everything is going to start moving forward. It's kind of like, oh, you know what? We might be out of the post shadow of Mercury retrograde now. So now things are really going to start moving forward. Okay. Because when the retrograde ends, um, it doesn't go direct until after the post shadow, but I, it might be going direct over this weekend. I can't, like, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm feeling something along those lines, or maybe it, it has now and into this weekend, it will really start moving forward. So things are going to shift. Things are going to move forward for you. Okay. And the queen of swords. So you'll be decisive now. Right now, you might not be clear about something in your life. Okay. You might just be like, you're not sure. You don't know what to think. You're kind of holding yourself back. You're restricting yourself. You're, you're, you know, stuck. It's a stuck energy. Okay, but I do feel like after things shift and move forward for you, things will get crystal clear with that Queen of Swords, or it could be something to do with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius for some of you. It could also be a Cancer. So yeah, I do feel like you'll know exactly what you need to do after that, after everything starts going direct. It's hard to know what to do when things are showing up indirect. You, 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 gotta, you spend more time trying to solve a puzzle of indirectness. Um, Virgo likes things crystal clear. And once you get that, it's game on. Okay. Let me just take a look at, let's take a look at love real quick. Let's just see. Strictly love here for you. Okay. So you've got a soulmate. Oh, sorry. See, I moved everything. So I'll put it here. You have a soulmate. Nope. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I moved my camera. <laughs> Wait. Uh, 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 maybe that'll help. Um, so you have a soulmate showing up here. Okay. Some of you have a past person who's a soulmate. Um or a feeling like you've known this person before, okay? Over the weekend, I do feel like there's a past past life or a past relationship that has a soulmate energy that's going to be significant over this weekend. Now, let me just see what's going on here. Okay, there you go. There's going to be a heart-to-heart conversation between us, you and a soulmate with a soulmate over this weekend. This is someone from your past or there's a past life connection. Like there's a familiarity. You may actually, this might be a past person for others. There may be a connection with someone over this weekend where it's like, wow, you know, it could be somebody new you meet. What? And where it's like, wow, I feel like we've known each other forever. And that's beautiful. There's an honest discussion about feelings over this weekend. It could be a lover. You know what? It, it is because I... I, I was asking about love. I should have said more like a romantic connection. Um, so for some of you, this could be a friend that's showing up over the weekend where you guys are talking through things um, or talking again, something along those lines. But, you know, I love this energy because this feels like a very healing thing that's happening for you over the weekend, okay? It feels like a very healing, either a love relationship healing with a past life person or past life person or a past person um, or meeting somebody new where there's like an open, honest discussion and it feels invigorating for you uh, or a friend, okay? Now let's take a look and see what other messages there are here. So just, just to summarize, there's a conversation happening this weekend, okay, with someone, a soulmate, a lover, most specifically. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Oh, wow. Okay, fortune. So, Fortuna, I do see you coming into a little bit of some money here over the weekend. A fortune, that could be a small fortune. This could be a huge fortune. An inheritance, okay? It could be... Um, you know, like, 
retirement money, cashing out on a 401k, winning a lottery. Um, it could be gambling, winning at gambling, like I was saying. It's good fortune. And it's not just about money. Um, it's good luck. So I see you. I don't know if you're getting lucky this weekend, but there is like a good luck situation. So if you're going to play any kind of games where you have any kind of winnings or invest in something, it feels like this weekend is a good idea to do this. Okay. Let's see what else you need to know, Virgo. Okay. So we have, oh, a little bit of despair. Okay. I don't like that card. It's very despairing. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of like you got you got the good with the bad this weekend. Also, um, there might be a situation. Oh, okay. They're just saying feeling down on your luck and then you get this blessing or this gift, this financial gift. That's what it is. Okay. But it, this came first and then that. So I feel like over this weekend, if you're feeling like financially, you're breaking the bank, you can't pay your bills, um, you're, they won't give you the raise in your job or, you know, your salary is decreasing or you're not getting that money you thought you were um, or just feeling like you, you just can't seem to make ends meet or you feel like something's not working out. Fortune's coming down here over the weekend to bless you. And for some, it is in the form of a financial... Um, um, win of some sort or getting that bonus or whatever it is that you, you know, to help you out. Okay. To help you out. Like you're getting, it's like getting lucky, you know, um, fate's coming in to save the day is what I feel like over this weekend. Let me see what else you need to know. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Service. Wow. Hmm. Okay, for some of you, this is more along the, I almost want to say metaphysical lines. For some of you, there's a message here. They're saying when you're feeling down on your luck um, or when you're feeling in despair, go help somebody else who's in a worse situation than you are. And you, the reward that you get from that, that will bring, that's like good karma, okay, coming back to you. And so for some of you, that's a really strong message. Some of you need to get your car serviced and you need to like get on top of that this weekend and whatever, to whatever extent that is, um, your vehicle, whatever you drive needs like some engine service or something. Okay. <laughs> that's an interesting message. Some of you are going to take a job as like a valet parker, a valet on the weekend. I'm hearing, or are you gonna? Are you doing something? You work in the service industry. Um, you might be feeling like you didn't want to work this weekend, um, and it's dreadful. Um, but you need the money. But I feel like you're gonna make a lot of money this weekend for whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, let me see. Oh, we've got a child as well. Okay, somebody might be expecting a baby or you're spending time with a child over this weekend. Um, hmm. Or, you, yeah, or visiting. I, I see maybe somebody has a baby and you're visiting to see the new, oh, look at the new baby. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? Visiting someone, that's from Seinfeld, visiting someone's baby or seeing the new baby or meeting the new baby um, or spending time. Maybe you're having a baby over this weekend. Okay. And I'm seeing a little girl. Um, uh, but for others, it, you know, it could be a boy. You might know what you're having. or, <laughs> But yeah, I, I feel more strongly that it's a little girl. Um Going, some of you are having a baby with someone and you are, um, if you're male, I feel like you're going to be helping put the baby in the car. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just seeing that. Helping put the baby in the car. Okay. Little Bambino. Uh, Nino. Someone's name is Nino. Let me see. 
Okay, consolation. All right, for some of you, it's a consolation prize over the weekend. Um, like I said, there were some winnings. But I'm also hearing like um, you're going to receive consolation for any kind of despair or struggle. Like somebody or the spirit has your back. And whatever, you, whatever you're experiencing right now or what you feel you might be experiencing later um, or going through the weekend, like I feel like everything's going to work out. Um, it's just trust the process and believe that things are always in your favor. I don't feel like you need to say to yourself, I want this. That never, if you sit in a position of want and desire, you'll never have it. You have to tell yourself that you already have it. Um, and that's when universe acknowledges that, right? If you're constantly in a place of want, um, then universe acknowledges that you don't have. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of how that works. And it changes your whole mindset. Um, I know it might sound crazy. Like you don't want to go around telling people that someone is your husband or wife when you've never met them or when you're not together or there's a breakup you know like people might be like uh most people don't understand you keep that to yourself these are all things for yourself right um let me see what else is coming up for you over this weekend oh a little bit of melancholy yeah you have kind of um a, a, some up and downs happening over the weekend you know i feel like there's definitely like an underlying current for some, not all of you, that you might feel like um, just a bit of melancholy, like a little bit of sad, uh, sadness or, you know, just like an undercurrent. But all these things come in, all these things happen over these, the weekend that kind of make you realize that, you know, things are not as bad as you perceive them to be. Um, you, you kind of flip the script on yourself and say, you know, this actually could be a lot worse than what I am dealing with and trying to find things that are, I don't know, a lot worse to help you cope, um, but also having the faith and trusting, right? So just be weary, wary of a little bit of melancholy or those thoughts that come in. And if you feel sad or you have um, just a moment over this weekend that you can get a little rest, um, that's good. Even if it's active rest or active rest in the brain, that's a very positive thing, um, for you. Okay. So a little bit of malady. So you might just be careful Virgo that you don't run yourself so low into the ground that you make yourself sick. Okay. Be very careful about that. Um, you might be connecting with someone also that has some postpartum, um, maybe a friend, who's just a little bit down on themselves as well. Um, there might be someone who's not feeling well, right? Um, it's, it's just kind of like under the weather. Maybe you're gonna bring them some soup or some medicine or something and just kind of sit with them a little bit and a um, little bedside stuff. So maybe you'll be in a hospital or maybe you work in a hospital or a um, little bit of sitting with someone. I don't feel like anyone's like, you know, on their deathbed or anything like that but it's just a sense of uh somebody kind of just feeling and that's what i was saying if you're able to help someone else feel better you will begin to feel better um that that's actually um service is a beautiful thing um and some of you might be working in a hospital over this weekend or in a medical facility um where i was feeling like maybe you weren't supposed to work maybe you cover for somebody um it's a good thing it's really a good thing yeah oh my gosh these three cards are just giving me some serious vibes here um now some of you might find someone mm, okay that's a weird message so a mental hospital for a crime they're saying a mental hospital for a crime also they're saying um, if you spend your weekend watching very negative shows, stuff that doesn't lift you up, be careful because that could have or be a source of some underlying melancholy where you might be feeling like, oh, you know, like <laughs> 
saying that Dahmer Netflix. I mean, some of you are like, I am never going on a date again. I do not know what's out. Like, just kind of keep things in perspective and try to stay balanced over this weekend. Okay, you might find out that either someone could be going to prison or is in prison and is not feeling well or is, you know, you might get a call. It feels like maybe some depression or something. Okay. Um, or if it's not actual prison, it's just there's someone who feels imprisoned. And be careful too, because you had the Eight of Swords in the beginning, which can be a card of self-imposed imprisonment. Okay, so be careful that you're not doing that to yourself. Now, you have reunion here. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, or have been early beginning about a past life heart-to-heart -heart connection with a soulmate. Okay, that is definitely, there's a reunion over this weekend with someone. Oh, wow. Okay, joyfulness, three of cups. Sheesh, this could be some of you that you're reconnecting with some old friends that you haven't connected with in a while. Um, this is fun, a celebration of some sort. You could go to a party or go to some kind of joyful celebrate, celebratory event and connect with someone that you haven't seen in a while as well. Could it be a lover? Absolutely. And that could be a soulmate thing where it's like, hey, um, you could also meet someone again over this weekend at some event or out with people, places, things, doing stuff. And there's like this, wow, I feel like we've, have we met before? That energy is, that's a double confirmation of that happening over the weekend. Okay. Wow. Cheerfulness. Yeah. So there's definitely, again, it's like the Three of Cups. That's like the Three of Cups as well. So there's definitely like a dinner party, uh, some event, okay, a, so a social event, which, oh, it's going to be great. It looks so positive and fun and dancing and eating and drinking and being merry. Some of you, maybe you're going to an early Halloween party. I know sometimes people have them every weekend throughout the month. You're going to a um, a fall festival or some kind of an event and there's bumping into someone as well which is very nice like someone you haven't seen for a while let me see what else okay and house oh something is a house party y'all um for some there's a conversation oh i just bought a new home just bought a new house for others um there's an invite to some type of an event at someone's home, for sure, okay, whatever it might be, and there's definitely, um, it's, a, well, for some, it's a reunion with one particular person, could be that soulmate, for others, it's just like getting together, it could be some kind of like family reunion, friends, um, it could be, I don't know if they have um, school reunions, um, are just everybody getting together okay that you connected with before it could just be something real simple or something large and and, and fantastic going over somebody's house okay also have wife all right some of you are separated and um there's a connection with a wife okay or uh, if this is a single person who's inviting you to their home as well this person is a wife okay <laughs> um does that mean she has children not necessarily but she may um some of you might be actually being invited by someone who's getting married to a reception or some type of a party um over this weekend okay uh, it could actually be occurring over the weekend or you get an invite over this weekend okay so you also have servant. So some of you are going to be working uh, like as maybe for some, it could be catering or doing some kind of a event, um, a bartending or something like that, where I feel like you're going to do well financially, make some money if that's a career you're in. Um, some of you are going to fall in love with the bus boy <laughs> or the bellhop or the valet. <laughs> you could be connecting with this person. Let me see what else. So you're serving dinner. Um, okay. So you also have merchant. That feels like um, trade. So there's going to be some trade over the weekend. Let me see what this is. Uh, constancy. Wow. Okay. So some of you are picking up 
a buyer is what I'm hearing. Um, or you're picking up a client or a customer who um, is part of your work that this person is going to be a repeat client and then they're going to bring in more repeat clients. Okay, so f as far as your business, your trade, your, 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 you know, as a merchant or whatever you do with your work, things are going to get really great with that constancy. There's going to be like this continuity, this continuation, um, an exchange merchant exchange, um, export, import. You're, I feel like if that's a business that you have or something along those lines, you're going to start seeing that over the weekend. It's going to be really great um, news for you because I feel like you're going to get this. Wow, business is picking up. So some kind of sign about that over this weekend. Also, scholar and, okay, all right, somebody's around you, scholar and misfortune. There's somebody around you who's like a big, huge naysayer. They're so smart and so cerebral that rather than give hope um, and support, this person is very much by the book and is like, well, statistics say you're not going to be able to do this, or you're not going to be able to make it, or you're going to encounter misfortune. Be careful of this person because this person... Their intention, I mean, they're, they're book smart, they're heady, but their intention is to keep you from, I don't know who this person is, for, the picture is an older male, but just be careful of this person because they're like a Debbie Downer kind of a energy, this person. It's like if, if anyone does better than them, they got to find reasons and um, sources, notations, well, the book says that you're not going to make it, you know, rather than accept accountability that they have a very negative attitude, they're going to blame it on statistics. I don't know who that's for, but just be very, very careful. It could be just someone, you, you know, if you're in a home or, you know, they're giving you like they're schooling you on how to install your fire alarms, but they're treating you kind of like you're incapable okay of maybe they, they treat you like they're like they're an expert but they're not they read something in the book and then they come back and then they tell you that you know you're gonna screw up I don't know that's a very separate message so I feel like be mindful of that person and ignore them okay you also have a surprise coming in okay you have oh you might okay like I said before you guys might come across a little treasure over this weekend that you weren't expecting to find, okay? This is kind of like an, um, an unexpected find, a treasure. Um, okay, if you guys do any kind of um, antique shopping or you're a collector, um, I feel like you're going to be very surprised. You're going to find something very unique, a little bit haughty, <laughs> but it's going to be worth a lot of money, okay? That's a strange message. Um, well, it's not really strange, but it's, it's very specific, okay? So if you're out looking or you're just shopping, I, I just feel like you're going to find something very unique and rare over this weekend that is, is you know, you take it home and you're like, oh, that's interesting. I just really like that. And then you find out that this thing is worth like 10 grand or something along those lines, you know. What other messages here does Virgo need to know for the weekend? Okay, beautiful. The wheel of the year. So good fortune. And that's how you started here. The wheel of the year. Good luck. Everything is shifting. There's a lot of big changes. I th like I said, I think Mercury Direct is probably somewhere around this time period. Everything's shifting and changing. Things are going to start moving forward for you. Everything you thought that just wasn't going to come back to you or things that you feel like it's not going to work out, that energy is shifting away. That was the whole retrograde period in all areas. And I feel like now the tables are turning in your favor. So I'm just going to leave that there for the weekend for you, Virgo. Come back on the 16th, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, and I will do your singles reading for those of you who have nobody and you want to know if new love is coming in. All right, you guys, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you on Sunday. Take care.